Hi friends, it's Amanda joining you today for a Coco Vanilla Studio Happiness Collection layout. Thanks so much for being here and watching. Today's layout is all about fussy cutting and in particular with this gorgeous paper, Botanical Bliss. And you can see it's a fussy cutter's dream. I especially love the combination of orange and blue. Colour opposites on the colour wheel of course and just a gorgeous combination when together. Picked out some die cut ephemera pieces as well and I can see that combination working beautifully. Now I'm putting that aside and I'm removing the die from the die cut backing special teak paper and look how easy it is to remove. One piece of glue, that's it. Save that gorgeous beauty, we'll use her in another layout because that paper is far too pretty to waste. But now if you weren't to have a cutting machine or a, you just want an easy day where you don't have to pull out your cameo, look at that, a beautiful Cut file look, very, very minimal effort. That's fantastic. Now, there's my gorgeous photo, center of my heart. So I'm putting a floral centered piece, well, a wreath anyway, around as a frame. Going to pop them in the center of my layout. And that gorgeous indigo paper is actually the reverse side of Botanical Bliss. So very pretty. For those of you that know me well, indigo is my favorite color. And I think that darker hue of blue will work beautifully with our orange blue combination. And you get the sort of gist from my layout. It's not an original design. I'm being inspired by lots of gorgeous people like Natalie D'Souza, Raquel Louise, Mandy Melville. They've all done beautiful similar layouts. There's probably more online that I've missed. Forgive me if I've forgotten you. But just being inspired and taking my own take on that today. I've gone now and stitched my 11 by 11 inch cardstock. Um, I machine sewed it about half an inch in. And just trimming it along and popping it into place. I do always stitch separately. I try not to stitch through multiple layers of paper. This just lengthens the life of your sewing machine needle when it goes through so many sheets of paper. So just starting to plan out. Now bringing out all those extra fussy cut pieces. There's lots of them. Look at that. I've got a few die cut um, leaves in the green. So the fussy cut paper, all the leaves were the navy, which are gorgeous, or the indigo. And I just love them, but I wanted a little pop of green as well to pop around my photograph just for that point of interest. So literally just going to play around with a diagonal design. I like the idea of my daughter it seems to be leaning in diagonally across my son. So following the direction that her face is taking with how I arrange the flowers in and around the heart. And that photo so lots of play now tucking in moving around making colors work together um, you can see that combination of blue and orange is just divine though isn't it so just sort of playing around with that idea for now gluing on that frame and I'll use my fine liner because I don't want too much glue because there's nothing worse when you press down and then it smears onto your photograph so just a very light amount of glue there we are and then I'll trim that up Nice, oh look at that, nice and neat, beautiful. So a beautiful framed photo now. And as I said, centered for the center of my heart. So got a die cut piece here, loving every second. That's going to be my title. You can see I've arranged those um, green foliage pieces around just the photo. So again, it has that point of interest to draw you into my sweet photograph. I've mounted that heart with some foam tape. And again, because it's a very clean layout and there's not a lot to it, having that little bit of soft, elegant dimension really, it just adds that extra something, I think. Look at that. It's not a lot, but just enough to give it that little lift off the page. And because it is white on white, it is going to help lift it. So that's my basic design. It's not really very fancy, is it? You can see I've, I've fussy cut a butterfly or two from the other paper that features all the butterflies. I've used some butterfly die cuts. And there's a couple stickers there as well. Nothing's glued down yet. I'm just about to start doing that now. I tend to almost muck around with pieces for too long, moving them here and there and playing. But that's half the joy, isn't it? When you get to tuck in and push pieces around. And I love playing with florals. They're so pretty. Look at that. And I do like to tuck some of my leaves up. Lots of foam pieces, as you'll see. So we've got some pieces that are raised, some that are flat and tucked under. Just lots of points of interest. And again, working in that diagonal fashion. So going from the top left through to the bottom right of my page. And I love those little pops of green just around the photo. Just that little point of interest, that little something else that says, hey, look in the center first, look at my photograph. 
it's telling the story. And tucking in those butterflies, there, there you go, there's some accessory sticker ones there as well. And these are really cute, these little accessory sticker ones. They're a little bit tinier than the die cut or the fussy cut ones, and they're just really cute. So, yeah, but I'll play around with them <laughs> or change my mind, move them around. But yeah, really pretty. And you can see it's a really simple design. Fussy cutting, you know, when you've got beautiful big blooms, it sort of, the design takes care of itself really, doesn't it? And you can just enjoy the beauty of, of that beautiful pattern paper and making the most of it. So I just tucking in those last little pieces. They're always so fiddly, aren't they? And of course, because my, my um, cut file is raised, it is that little bit trickier to stick things down. There you go. So simple, sweet, very, very pretty and needing some finishing touches now because it's a little too white. Now I could have had a, a little bit of splatter with some watercolour or some inks, but we had these gorgeous sequins that came maybe in 2016, maybe 2017 in a beautiful collection called Life is Beautiful. And even though I only had one set, you can see sequins last forever. And I have so many of these. So I thought, why not use the Life is Beautiful sequins because the colours in these tie in gorgeous with the colour scheme that we're using today of that gorgeous pops of orange, blue and indigo. So on they go, really teeny tiny and working carefully with my fine line of glue to just pop those little hints of colour in. As I said, if you don't have sequins, you could easily use splatter. But I just felt this, this particular page was just really clean and I just didn't want to have that messy appearance. So the sequins were a better choice for me. But I still think it could have looked great with paint as well. <laughs> so on they go. The blue ones particularly shine up better on camera, but the peach colour were just gorgeous as well. So there we go. Lots of slow work when we're with sequins, isn't it? There we go. Lots of careful placement. And again, trying to work through that diagonal area. There you go. You can see them a little bit, but I've pulled it up to camera. And as I looked at it on camera, I realised probably need just a little hint more of colour. It's not quite grabbing you yet. So just a few more. And they're fiddly, of course, aren't they, sequins? <laughs> uh, where will they go? Yes, I think we'll pop them there. So on again. And sometimes it's the fiddly things that are the most relaxing too, isn't it? It's just that quiet little work. You know, I've sat quietly in fussy cart and now I'm fiddling around with little sequins. It was actually a really lovely page to pull together. And for finishing touches, oh, hang on, need a bit more foam tape there. <laughs> um, because everything was raised through the centre, it really needed a little bit more to hold it in place, I think. There we go. Nope. Perhaps, there we are. <laughs> And it's all in the details, especially when it's a clean page. It needs to be so, so perfect almost really, doesn't it? Um, oh, and you can see where I cut the butterflies out of my accessory sticker sheet from earlier. I wonder if you will do it that way. Do you just peel your sticker straight off or do you cut them out like I do and move them around lots? Um, on with my journaling though. So you can see, yeah, 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 happy little moments. Don't forget these days, good times together, cherish. And... That's my layout. Really simple, really beautiful. And what a lovely way to incorporate fussy cutting into your layouts. I really hope you've enjoyed watching my video today. If you haven't already, please press the like and subscribe buttons to both my channel and the Coco Vanilla Studio channel. If you've got any questions or comments, don't hesitate to pop them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And have a wonderful, happy arty day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.